and also creative director Nadia Benusi. Hello, one more fourth. <laughs> Hello everyone, I haven't seen you since the Logies. Yes. <laughs> and wasn't that fun? That it was. was. And you were looking gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> hey, didn't we have a good time? Yeah. Hey, now, guys, on a serious note, you're, you're going to do a, you know, a song, and I just heard you in the dressing room. It's just embarrassing to hear those beautiful harmonies spill out of you guys. <laughs> but uh, seriously, on a business note, I didn't realise when I was swatting up here that each of you within High Five have a specific role aimed at kids. So where do we start? Tim, why don't we start with you? Um, oh, my segment is uh, the music segment. So I guess it's sort of aimed at um, helping kids to develop uh, different musical skills and be creative in, in that way. Mm -hmm. So I use a lot of uh, different, um, I guess, objects that they might find around the house to make music with and rhythm and all that sort of thing. So, um, I mean, that, that was kind of what... Um, my, my section of the show was based around. I mean, the, the music of the show itself is, is kind of, um, one, of a, one of the core elements, really, when High Five was developed, the music was always going to be a very sort of mm -hmm. strong part of it. So um, they've tried to take um, sort of modern music and, and things that are the, you know, I guess what's in and what's on the top 40 at the time and really incorporate that into the show and make that a part of what we do. And Kathleen? Oh, I am. Um, actually, we've all got our own writers, and Chris Phillips is mine, and she kind of, she's got two little kids, and she's always out there researching well, all our writers are researching always and, and, and all have little kids and so they kind of ask them what the current things are and, and incorporate it in our show and, and mine's the maths problems and so. Maths problems? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nathan, what's Spatial visual. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not four, I don't understand what spatial visual means. Well it goes back a long way, Kerry. <laughs> it's all about shapes. And uh, I found out actually yesterday that I'm getting a brand new set. I've had the same set for six years yeah. and I'm getting a brand new set this year. Oh. It's actually based on a, a brand new toy that's coming out very soon. So it's uh, going to be very, very interesting. I haven't seen it myself, but it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good. And Charlie? I'm Charlie. over here. <laughs> Kelly, Charlie. Charlie. Kelly. Sorry, you put pink things in your hair. I know. Yeah, I've you. changed. I've worn <laughs> different looks okay, now. Kelly. So who, me? Yes, I, I do linguistics, I do the wordplay section, which is words and rhyming words and having fun with words. And I actually am mildly dyslexic. So at school I found it very difficult to learn that sort of side of um, like spelling and all those things and I always got things reversed. Whereas now I've got a puppet in my segment, Chats, which she's been there the whole time. But basically we make it fun and make it easier for kids to understand and, and not get so stuck with the heaviness of all that learning and yeah. it's all fun and it yeah. is yeah. fun and, and it's got to be fun yeah, yeah. i do the movement or the physical things so whatever these guys you know show on the show i then do it in my segment in a physical way so that kinesthetic so kids can you know get, use their muscles which is very prominent at the moment in the news about oh, obesity, obesity for children yeah. things like that so it's very interactive for the kids to get up and move around and dance and actually to show how cool high five is yeah. we've just launched in the uk high five dance classes so wow. there's actually classes kids go to to learn the songs of the week and some of the segments but every week whatever's shown on TV in the UK they'll then learn that at the school like classes so I guess we're really not only on our show interactive and getting kids up and moving we're looking at innovative ways to do it out in you know get kids out and dancing as well after schools or now you playgroup. obviously all you guys you're at the pointed end but behind that is the research the development the merchandising and uh, you know the visual the costumes and Nadia as creative Yay! director da -da -da -da. Oh. Helena Harris who obviously created the show is um is just an amazing woman who actually pushes and pushes a team to do to go beyond what I think anybody ever expects but how do you pick the trends and, and let's just take okay. the clothes for a start okay. be, besides mm -hmm. all the other research that currently be what you're seeing is the cast are actually got on what is probably the new looks that we're setting for series seven <laughs> mm -hmm. when we traveled overseas we looked at colors mm -hmm. we looked at designs we looked at shapes and we looked at how to bring those back and incorporate them in a way that was very high five but also reflected what was out there in the fashion world certainly and then obviously the one thing that high five is is they're totally aspirational so these clothes will then are accessible to kids kids can do these in their own way i mean they're obviously accessible through merchandise but they're accessible for kids to grab them and put colors and obviously the essence is colors i mean we've got some great so we're looking for summer now as the kids are going we're, we're talking naught to what age oh uh, well basically high five is is aimed at the vital five-year-old but okay. We generally sort of base it from two to eight. So two what are eight. the high, you know, the five-year-olds going to be wearing now? 
Well, the five-year-olds are wearing now... It's a bit no, like what the five-year-olds are wearing now <laughs> is an actual fact. This is in pre-production, mm -hmm. so this series. So the five-year-olds right now are wearing a clothes based on the song of the week that we did a couple of months yeah. ago called Love. So yeah. there's a love story available out there right now which has got frou-frou skirts, it's That's got gorgeous. stripes, it's got the lyrics to the song on it, it's got denim, it's got applique, it's got Lots colour. But it seems as if everything in the whole show, and I, I actually thought you guys just got up and sang a few songs and danced around, had a fabulous time <laughs> and were very <laughs> <That> was <laughs> it. You know, It's a bit like our two hour show every day. <laughs> but um, clearly the integral part of making children work, think, in a fun way to educate and be better human beings. But the colour as well. I mean, the thing is, we, when we talk about trends, we talk in all, le all levels. We've got the set designers right now. We had an art department meeting yesterday. We looked at everything that's out there, both in the commercial world, in advertising. We watched the Olympics. Mm. We watched the opening ceremony of the Olympics to see mm. how they pick colours, because we're designing a new set. As Nathan talked about his set, his set is actually based on something we found mm. overseas, which is how shapes move together and how they can actually... We can play with them. So Nathan can actually... Not, you can actually play with, these, <laughs> play with these shapes. So basically, kids aren't coming out or, or spending, you know, half an hour a day with, you know, mindless brains. They're actually this stuff is sinking in. Yeah, they're that learning is without even remember. knowing. I think yeah. that's what our key thing is, yeah. is that they're learning without mm. knowing and everything's mm. kind of fun and all of a sudden they're, they're sapping all this yeah. information well, in without it's a, Well, like, you guys are going to um, sing for us. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, it's a launch, New actually, because no oh. one's heard this song. Really, really? This is from mm -hmm. Series 7, which we'll be filming okay. in the coming weeks. Well, we're going to um, um, take a little break from this little chat, but I've got to say... Very impressed of understanding how intricate the different roles are between all of you and everything. It's like the tip of the iceberg. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's just amazing. Mm. But well done, guys, and congratulations. You know, Prunella Scales and, and her husband Timothy, the famous British actors, were on, and they didn't realise you were high five up there when they were mincing around with you, and they were going, Oh, I didn't realise it was high five. Yeah, I, I wanted to meet I think them. It was the models. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, you stay with us because you're going to prepare for a song. Nadia, thank you very much for coming to explain that concept to us. Hey, we've got more coming up. We have these chaps and girls here as well as uh, a lot. But here's Rosie first. Time to catch up with what is new in technology innovations. We welcome back resident tech head, and this is going to scare me now, Bruce Barnett. It's going to scare me too, don't worry. How are you, Bruce? Oh, I'm fine. And you? I've got my own microphone this week. I like having this. Oh, yeah. possession is nine tenths Isn't of the law, I'll they give say. it to you to sing, but... Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, talking new technology. What's happening here? It's party week, and I thought, let's go for a party. Let's, let's do a bit of karaoke. Let's have a keyboard. Let's... It's the Far Fisa electronic organ. I've just met Robert. Hardly. Good morning, Robert. Good Alan morning, from, uh, Robert from uh, Alan's Music. I was wandering through and they got this brand new Yamaha keyboard, the PSR 3000. Ooh. What does it do? Well, um, let's, let's have a listen to the keyboard listen. side of it. Robert's very good at playing this. Ooh. And if I should sing, which I really don't like, ah. you're, ah. you're going to have harmonies <laughs> and, and the like. We'll actually get our resident singer, Jamie, over there to sing in a few moments. <laughs> Now, you can play the keyboard, OK. So this is basically, a, you can program a whole orchestra into this, Robert? You certainly can. Golly, Multi-track multi recording. Yamaha is so, so clear. How does that happen? The, uh, the recording? Yeah. Uh, you can uh, play one part, then record another part over the top and keep going and uh, create a, your own music. 16 wow. tracks. 16 tracks. Then includes. export that and then re-import that and add some more. Oh you can keep on adding and adding as you wish. Mm. Okay, now uh, it has also a karaoke feature. Oh, now, these is that little, the tip you've got? That's a little smart media card, okay? See that one there? Okay, now that is how many kilobytes? That's 16 kilobytes, that little one there. And that contains 300 songs in MIDI files. 16 kilobytes yeah. equals 300 songs. That's right. It's a new sort of math. You can get five <laughs> gigabyte cards nowadays. Yeah. So he's plugged one in, and we're getting our singer over here to sing karaoke. Oh, the screen Jamie. behind us, by the way, has yeah. got all the, the, the oh. menus and like That's what you see on the little screen in front. So or... you, you buy those songs yes. to put in there. So I could do, do that'll be the day... Oh, what are you going to do, James? Uh, I think we're going to do Suspicious Minds. I'm not really interested in singing on television, and uh, I oh, get a little God. bit nervous, but uh, here's one of my favourites. I hope it's one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I get shy. I really do. I'm not going to sing this. Get it, Bobby. <laughs> come up. Oh, and it comes up on the telly. Yeah, you can do harmonies, Kate. Call on the track. Thank you so much. I can't walk out. Oh, That's right. Yeah. 
Because I love you too much, baby. Are you in the right color? Are you in the right color? I don't know. <laughs> Why can't you see? Your honey's going? What you doing to me? Woo! Could only believe a word I say. We can't go on. Oh, let's go. Where's High Five? Bring it. Where's High Five? Bring High Five in. Where's Nathan? On suspicious facts. No friend I know. Thank you so much. Is that too much again? No, no, go Honey, Nathan, help me out of here, buddy, quickly. Come here, darling. Stop and say hello. Come on, I don't see suspicion in your eyes. Come on, Nathan, help. Out. Come on, come on, give me a hand here. There's the karaoke. Here we go again. <laughs> Asking where have I been? Go, Nate. You can't see the tears are real. I'm crying. Oh, now this man can see. <laughs> we can't go on together <laughs> with suspicious eyes. Suspicious eyes. We can't build our dreams <laughs> on suspicious minds. Okay, yeah! That, that's it. Yeah. We, Nate, you are an absolute gem. Now, I'm going to let you go back yes, and rehearse your proper song with your proper people. Now, Unbelievable. That's, that's how it's really done. I know. I'm spent. I've got nothing yeah. more for you. <laughs> By the way, one of many other things. Did you do God. wild women do? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nathan and I have actually been playing a bit right now before we go. A bit of the high five magic as they perform this song, Some Kind of Wonderful. See you tomorrow morning, 9am. Hey. Today is gonna be a wonderful day. You help put a smile on my face. Today is gonna be a wonderful day. People to see, places to stay. Oh, happy, happy day. You are. Wonderful to me. Na 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 na.